After consideration of their recommendations, I have decided in terms of Section 179 of the Constitution to appoint Advocate Shamila Batohi as the new National Director of, Prose of Prosecutions. I'm confident that Advocate Batohi possesses all the attributes of a capable NDPP. Throughout her extensive and distinguished career and in the course of the selection process, she has shown herself to be a fit and proper person. She started her public service as a junior prosecutor in the Chatsworth Magistrates Court in 1986 and steadily rose through the ranks to become the Director of Public Prosecutions in KwaZulu-Natal. She was seconded to the Investigation Task Unit established by President Nelson Mandela in 1995 and later served as the first regional head of the Director of Special Prosecutions based in KwaZulu-Natal. For much of the last decade, Advocate Batoi has served as a senior legal advisor to the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. As the NP Act requires, she has the experience, the consciousness, and the integrity to be entrusted with the responsibility of being the next National Director of Public Prosecutions. Despite the many challenges the NPA has faced in the past, we know that there are women and men of great ability, as well as experience and commitment within the National Prosecuting Authority, who are dedicated to doing their job and doing it well as well. It is our collective responsibility to ensure that the conditions exist for the members of the National Prosecuting Authority to effectively serve the cause of justice and to meet the great expectations that the people of our country have of them. As this administration, we stand ready at all times to provide whatever assistance necessary to the National Prosecuting Authority to ensure that it is able to fulfill its constitutional mandate without let or hindrance, fear or favor. In conclusion, I'd like to thank the members of the advisory panel for the diligence and care with which they undertook their task and to thank Minister Hadebe for chairing the panel. The members of the panel executed themselves extremely well, and I thank them for having devoted time and effort to ensure that we arrive at a candidate that can be appointed, that I have now appointed as the National Director of Public Prosecutions. I also wish to thank all the candidates who made themselves available for appointment in this important position. For my part, as President of the Republic, I wish Advocate Batohi and the entire leadership and staff of the National Prosecuting Authority well in the work that lies ahead. Advocate Batohi will commence her duties in February of 2019 after serving her notice as senior advisor at the International Court of Just of Criminal. It is now my pleasure to ask and call on Advocate Batohi to come forward and make a few remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Mr. President, for your confidence in me, and thank you to the panel for the recommendation. I accept with gratitude the opportunity 
to serve as National Director of Public Prosecutions. My only obligation is to serve the country with humility and with dedication to the best of my ability. Each one of us, no matter where we are, must be ready to sacrifice the necessary to fight the good fight. Our country needs us. Let us not forget that this is also a historic moment for women. It is a recognition by our president that the role of women in the pursuit of equality, justice, and a fair society is important. The president and by proxy, the people, have bestowed a lot of confidence in me. The least I can do is to reciprocate that confidence. I have always derived inspiration from one great maxim, and I want to share this with you. To strive, to struggle, not to succeed. Hear me on this. This simple saying has strengthened the greatest of men and women when the challenge before them seemed monumental and the prospects of success slim. In this context, not to succeed would mean never be concerned about the result of your action, as long as you are clear about your goal and you are willing to unwaveringly perform the perfect action in the interest of society and in the interest of justice.